Good afternoon, everyone. Izzy here again. And I'm going to call this uh, part five of my uh, hydro, um, hydroponic uh, gardening. Okay, and uh, what are we working on today? Well, today's project is the, um, the refrigeration of the water. A lot of people thought that I gave up on that. Nope, not me. I never give up on anything. Anyways, uh, let, me, let me explain to you what the contraption that I have going on here, and then I'm gonna give an explanation on how I'm gonna set it up and box it up so it works uh, inside the hydroponics. Okay, so here, here, here we go now. Okay, so here we, we're looking at the, um, again, hydroponics. Here's the, the tank. So you, yesterday or, yeah, yesterday, I was working on this uh, flotation system with the automatic feed. I have it covered up because it rained a lot today and I didn't want to take a chance of uh, getting anything wet inside there. So, and I'm working on some other things for drainage. But anyways, uh, you can hear this thing cranks. You hear the noise, that noise, that noise is the uh, pump uh, running. It keeps pressure on the line so as soon as the water consumption, uh, the water, the plants consume water, it fills it right back up. Basically, it's an automatic uh, watering system. Okay, so now, uh, with no further ado, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working right now on uh, cooling the water because the water inside that tank there, uh, for me to be able to uh, grow certain things like what I'm really trying to grow, is the uh, basil and the uh, parsley and uh, after doing a lot of research i found out that the rooting system has to run the rooting system has to be cooled or rather the, the roots have to be in a temperature of uh, um, between 68 and 73 degrees okay um so what i did was um basically it's like this guys all right um so i gotta figure out how to lower the temperature now the temperature uh inside that tank that blue tank okay we'll call that the blue tank the blue tank right now is around uh 88 89 degrees that's fine if you're growing basil or mint no problem but when you're growing uh uh parsley or um or uh parsley or uh or what's that other one? Or uh, parsley or um, cilantro, then they're a little bit more delicate, so the, the temperature uh, has to be lower. So what I did was I got this little refrigerator, I took apart, had a friend of mine uh, fix it up so it, it would work. I hooked up this uh, 12 volt um, fan, which is gonna be operated. I'm gonna have it powered by the uh, 12 volt system that's running the pump. So that'll take care of that, okay. The rest is regular 110 voltage, okay, which, you know, I'm going to have housed in a box, okay. Now, this line here, basically, picture this inside the blue tank, okay, which, by the way, I got a new tank, so it'll probably be a red tank after I'm done. I'm going to make it all new and nice. Anyways, so getting back to it. So now, this water is, you know, I put this, filled it up with water, and I have it running here. Okay, and the way it's gonna work, of course, inside the red tank or the blue tank, it's much higher. So this whole thing will be submerged under water. And basically, right now, oh wow, I started at 87 degrees and now already I'm at 83.7. So right now I have it running and I'm gonna leave it running um, for a little while, you know, to see how far I can get the temperature to go down. And a lot of people were asking me, well, how are you going to control the refrigeration to stay at, uh, at uh, let's say, 70 degrees, 69 degrees? Simple. They, they have a little um, electrical uh, control that works with, with a uh, sensor. So you put the sensor in the water, in the tank, and then you just set it and forget it. You understand? You set it. <laughs> Sounds like a go. Anyways, and you forget it. And what it does is... When it lowers to that temperature, it cuts the compressor off, you know, the electricity off. And when, and when it gets, uh, goes up to, let's say, 72, 
then it kicks it back on and that's how it does it. that's how I'm gonna have it set up but anyways just to let you guys see um, the temperature now is at 84.2 I'll be back I'm gonna pause the video and then in an hour or so I'll come back and see where where it's at okay all right see you guys later okay here we are uh, so it's been one hour about about one hour and here's the temperature now so now we're at uh, 73.6 so what is that 13 from when we started I think it was uh, I, I don't remember but anyways it's now it's 73.6 so that means that the water you see the sensor down there okay the water now in here is about 73.7 uh, or 74 degrees and, uh, and, the, and the system is running. I put aluminum foil around here to act as a, uh, I don't know, as a radiator. I might have to change that. I, I don't know how, how much I want to really put into this. I mean, as far as time. Um, but anyways, uh, the, oh, and I added this, this fan, this little, I hope Sarah doesn't get mad, but I took this fan and I put it here because I might take this little fan out and I might go get one of those little small fans that they sell at Walmart to uh, cool this system. You know, I, I think I need more volume of air. We'll see. Anyways, but uh, yeah, you see, now the temperature is 72.5. So um, yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. So um, this is the end of part five, and uh, my next project is when I put everything, um, you know, move everything from that tank into this tank including that and housing everything we'll see how it goes okay all right guys have a have a have a have a good night okay take care